I think the year was like 2003, 2004. There were 16 people in my house. I could barely scrap enough money to buy an Xbox. But we set up a LAN party with four different TVs, three people brought theirs, and three other Xboxes, and we had a 16-player Halo 1 LAN party. This was before Xbox Live and all that stuff called the internet games. And you may be asking yourself, Baron, what, what does Halo have to do with tabs? Wait a second, those aren't Halo Spartans, those are just regular Spartans. Those are ODSTs, orbital dropship troopers. And look at that, they got the submachine gun, which was introduced for the first time in Halo 2, and everybody loved it. But let's be honest, Halo 1 was better than Halo 2. People just have a lot more nostalgia, I think, because Halo 2 was the first one you could really do online. And you're like, Baron, those ODSTs got their butts kicked. And they're called Orbital Dropship Troopers because they can come in from the sky, right? Well, that means they should drop from orbit. <laughs> and they do, ladies and gentlemen. And they do. Oh my god, that actually looked like the face of Anubis for a second. As this ODST gets out, wait a second. That's a little odd. So let's take a step away from the action real quick. And I want to say a big thank you to Microids and Oddworld for sponsoring this video. Back in June, I got to play the HD port for the Nintendo Switch. It's available right now. This game was first released exclusively on the first Xbox back in 2001. And it was the first 3D game for the Oddworld inhabitants. You can play it on your Nintendo Switch where you're going to be able to experience 60 frames per second, high-res text textures, higher poly model, the audio's been improved, and there's just a ton of overall fixes and improvements that they've done to the game. As far as the game itself, you get to switch between Munch and Abe, and you get to explore the realms of Oddworld. And it's a fun game, because you get to use wacky abilities and psychic powers to basically have others do the dirty work. There's over a dozen loopy races of aliens that you get to meet and interact with. So once again, thank you so much to Oddworld Munch's Odyssey for sponsoring this video click the link in the description below to check it out and make sure to check out the old video i put up if you want to see more gameplay now let's get back into the action it really is an odd world isn't it <laughs> look at this odst just coming down from uh, space i mean how did how did you get here is there are we in a halo ring or is the pillar of autumn up there or like some of the other ones oh man you're gonna need some reinforcements aren't you Ahem, you're gonna need some reinforcements, aren't you? So let's call in some reinforcement drop pods here. Ladies and gentlemen, the Halo mod is here. And I know what you guys are thinking. No Halo mod could be completed without Master Chief in his Mjolnir armor looking splendiferous with that green paint because these guys, they're, they're still... I need to figure out what colors should they be, right? I'm thinking like a colored mask, a colored visor to indicate which team they're on. Because when they fight each other, you, you can't really tell too much. But I feel like ODSTs, they, they rock the submachine gun because they come in and fight close quarters. But while the pistol was my favorite gun in Halo 1, I think in Halo 3 I really like the battle rifle, but then there's another weapon called the rocket launcher. <laughs> Remember these things? They would fire, they'd spin around, you had twin barrels, and then the, like, oh, the sheer firepower of these things. Excuse me when they hit their targets, <laughs> would be quite beastly. Look at that. You remember that little, nice little uh, strawberry jam effect when rocket hits flesh? Yeah, you remember that from the Space Marines? Well, the UNSC was around way before the 30, 40, the 30, 30, 30, the 41st millennium. And in the last video, I asked you guys what mods you wanted to see. Halo came up quite a bit. So thank you for leaving your comments, your feedback, your suggestions. And I'm sure some of you guys may be like, well, I want to see a battle of, like, Spartans, but, like, the old school ones. And then I want this to get silly. I want I want a bunch of ODSTs driving really derpy modded mongooses, <laughs> which are just stupid, but they're totally accurately stupid. And that's my favorite part. I gotta, well, actually, I'm lying. Uh, the, the mongooses are not my favorite part. Coming in from orbit and just calling in massively... Oh god, that guy almost got smashed by the other drop pods. How many can we call in? Oh, that that's that's a little excessive. We 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 broke the game! <laughs> oh, this is totally accurate ODSTs. You gotta love it. I mean, this is what Tabs is all about. And and look at this. I love how 
Whenever like the the game's modded, like what are you doing, dude? You, you you're you're attacking some wheels on the ground, and these guys. What are you? You know what? I want to I want to be an ODST. No, I don't want to be a drop pod. <laughs> Why would I ever want to be a drop pod? Eat it! Come and get some. I'm gonna show you. I remember reading the Halo books. I was so interested in Halo. Uh oh, I got speared. See, this is why you need Mjolnir armor. And I remember, like, in the book that was, like, explaining uh, John 117's, like, whole introduction to being a Spartan, like, after the process, some ODSTs who thought they were the big and bad, like, want to get in a fight, and John just broke their bones, quite literally. And you're probably thinking, Baron, why are they farmers? Well, because the first major contact, not the first contact, but between... The Covenant in humans was on the planet of Harvest. So here's Master Chief. Wait a second. I said, here's Master Chief. Oh, look at that. Master Chief arrives in a drop pod because it's not a Halo mod without Master Chief. Look at these guys. Oh, the battle ended too. Did you pick the wrong team, John? <clears throat> I said, John came into the game. Good old Johnny boy. Johnny boy Spartan. Look at him in the Mjolnir armor, the light green tinge, the classic battle rifle firing at full speed, taking out these big weirdos with their cool looking haircuts, I'll be honest. Hey, John, you think you need some reinforcements over there, buddy? We can arrange for that. Oh, God. Oh, God. I, I messed it up. John, you're gonna have to fend for yourself there, buddy. <laughs> but you got some ODST troopers, even if they're falling from space, because you're not supposed to call them in too fast. Being an ODST is dangerous, man. Because, you know, like, you might, your pod might explode. There might be a bunch of dudes with wheelbarrows and pitchforks waiting for you. You really don't know, do you? So here's the thing. I'm trying to think, like, in a Halo mod, what should we add next, right? Watch out, John! <laughs> He's coming in with a wheelbarrow! Oh, <laughs> nice little sidestep there. You may not be the most accurate, but you know what? Oh God, you're about to die. See, it's always the way it is in the campaign. Oh God, oh man, he forked me. John, are you taking a nap? This looks like a bad idea. I wanna see for science what happens when you call in ODST drop pods on a map with a lot of holes. Well, they all seem to be landing in very good spots. Oh, there we go. We got one in a weird spot. So ODST jumps out. He's like, yeah, I'm gonna kick some of these guys' butts. And <laughs> he's gone. You see why it's dangerous to be an ODST? And it's sad though, because I remember Halo ODST was one of the like least received ones. But Halo Infinite is coming out, quote, holiday 2020. So November, December. Oh God, don't you love? This guy kind of looks like a prophet with his long neck. And it, and it begs the question, which should we add? Oh God, John, I hope you're in a safe spot. You're supposed to be lucky, by the way. That was supposed to be your skill. John, you're gonna have a bad time. You go down that hole, buddy. Well, let's call it an ODST and a Johnny boy at the same time, but the level's over. So, wait a minute. Do you think that I could go to a campaign and call in reinforcements? Now, remember this? This was like, Fast Fire, I think was where- So this was the map where we first encountered Siren Head in later Cartoon Cat. If you missed those videos, man, they were, they were wild because it's like, they just spawn and they, it's not like they spawn in a way that you can understand, you know, like where drop pods come in. And let's do that, so, but let's see if I can't call in reinforcements to support a bunch of dudes with clubs. All right, can we call in reinforcements? Reinforcements are arriving for the wrong team! All right, ODSTs, overcome the adversity on the battlefield. Oh no, you're on the bad guy's team. I think, oh God, they... I did something bad. I called in ODST soldiers and they killed us. Okay, that's not gonna work. So let's try this again. All right, if not ODSTs, then maybe... John, no! John, don't do it. Don't join the dark side. Don't you love that effect? Oh God, I, I love it all up until he starts rocking out with the battle rifle and just mowing down my soldiers. You thought the Gatling guns were bad. Eighth time is the charm. Shoot! You're not supposed to be on that team. Oh, there we go. I oh, I love that when we break it. Dun, 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 dun. 
I'm an ODST. I feel like like we've got Spartans in the game, and these ODSTs get all like the love right now because they have like the most dangerous job, and this is Exhibit C. Oh! <laughs> That's some broken bones, but in Tabsville, he's totally fine. Maybe if I put the archers up here? Well, by putting archers up here, I found that, like, that seemed to spawn Siren Head in the past. But, like, I, I think we're good now. All right. One drop pod. One Johnny boy. Johnny, please, please don't shoot. Please don't shoot us. Join us, John. Join us, John! John! You're supposed to join us! If you don't join us, we gotta kill you! Well, I think we're, we're doing a better job now. And the ODSTs, I don't think we're our friends. But it doesn't matter. Aw, just Take out that Gatling gun. I'll do it. Where's my arrow? I don't think I'm gonna be able to hit this guy. Oh my god, I got at the wheel. And this is what I love about tabs. You can mod it and have awesome things. And then it's still some of the most simple pleasures, like shooting a Gatling gun from above with an archer that really just tickle your fancy here. I'm, I'm trying to think, like, do we want the Covenant? Do we want the Flood? Do we want Brutes or Elites? Oh man, the Elites with the Energy Swords would be pretty cool. Maybe Cloaking Devices? I know what we need to do. So apparently they don't help me out. If I call in units, they just help the bad guys. So Mongooses are a cool idea. They're not really working as intended. <laughs> as you can see right here. Uh, they're, they're especially derpy and totally accurate, so let's just pair these guys up against the rocket launchers. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that. Attention. Hold like this. The spankers. Oh, I love it, man. Flank and spank is a little easier done when you're an ODST and can spawn in and, like, come in from orbit, and then you have a rocket launcher. The flank is strong with orbital drop, and the spank is strong with, well, quite frankly, a spanker. Isn't that what that means? The S-P-N-K-R. Oh, man. They're not the best at these. Let's let's try this out. Excuse me. All right. I want to fire a rocket. Who's left alive? You. You're my test subject. <laughs> oh, yeah. They're, there's a, they're not the most accurate, are they? <laughs> All right. We got to aim for the ground. Okay. <laughs> I aim for the ground, and I hit him directly in the chest, and he de-atomized. Oh gosh, it's glorious. I'm really excited for Halo Infinite. It's supposed to be for like the Xbox Series X, right? Do we know when that's supposed to launch exactly? I mean, holiday 2020, but the dates themselves, excuse me. Mongooses aren't supposed to drive by themselves backwards. Yeah, but like these guys are really spooked out by the ghost, the ghost mongooses. <laughs> this is like when a Segway scooter is possessed by demons. <laughs> I mean, there's, there's no explanation for it. I don't know what happened, man. Orbital drop pods. Do, 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 do. <laughs> All right, when you spawn in the Reaper, he kind of sounds like Gravemind. Like, he's the closest to Gravemind that we have. So let's imagine we've got the Flood here. This is Gravemind, and the Flood would be zombies. And when they eat you, you turn to their side, right? So we've got Johnny Boy back here with his ODST bros, a few of which were armed with rockets, and he's got to fight off the Flood, led by Gravemind, who is unfortunately a Reaper since we don't have the proper Flood in yet. And maybe we need to up their bullets and stop making the random Nick uh, make them look like prophets. Come on, boys, hold the line. We can get reinforcements if we need them. Oh, God. Oh no, this is why being an ODST is dangerous. <laughs> You're dead. We need reinforcements, we're being overrun! Call in the ODSTs, all of them are landing in bad spots and dying. What are you doing? Uh-oh. Wait, we're having a civil war right here, I think. John! John, don't- Oh no. What would happen if Master Chief got eaten by the Flood? Has that ever even been, like, discussed? Or proposed? Or theorized? Or has it ever been in the games? I kinda- I never played Halo 5. That's all about, like, the Prometheans, right? I think Halo 4, or Halo Fall of Reach was my last Halo game, but... I tell you what, I'm gonna play Halo Infinite. It looks like it's harkening back to the classics. It's a little difficult for zombies to bite if they're... If they have Mjolnir masks on, in ODST dropship masks. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching another episode of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Who's excited for Halo Infinite? You guys were asking for Halo mods, so let me know what mods we should do for the next one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.